You know, it's so hard to come up with so many different side dishes when you're on a low carb diet. And uh, I want to help Mr. Brown lose the rest of his weight because it's helping his blood pressure and it's just helping him all the way around and he feels better. And uh, so we're going to stick with it just a little bit longer. Of course, we're always going to be careful. But this is a zucchini gratin, or you can say all gratin, whichever. The recipe said zucchini gratin. And uh, with us not eating any uh, carbs, or low carb anyway, um, we do chew a little bit on the weekends. But I've got my little bit of olive oil in my pan, about two or three tablespoons. Uh, you want enough in there because you're going to put your zucchini in there and cook it a little while too. I've got one onion and about three large cloves of garlic. And we're just going to saute them for a minute or so before we add our zucchini in the pan. And that's just to soften the onions up a little bit. So what we want to do now is I'm going to move my zucchini over here. And this is about um, three, it's three, I don't even want to say medium. They were between a, a small and a medium zucchini. Um, but it it does make quite a bit. And you just cut them in rounds just like you would your potatoes if you was making potato au gratin. And now we're going to make our ooey gooey sauce. And the recipe calls for uh, mascarpone and cheese, of course, but if you don't have that, just use cream cheese. I just happened to have one in there from a recipe I had made a while back, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. But cream cheese will work just as well. And in most keto recipes, they use cream cheese. So either one. So that was eight, eight ounces, and you can use eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm going to use one egg, and this does have, you know, quite a bit of cheese in it, but not so much that it's just over cheesy. Of course, can you ever have too much cheese? So I'm going to try it. Now, you could use a hand mixer and, and blend this up pretty quick, but y'all know me, I, I don't want any more dirty dishes than I have to, so I'm just going to do it with my spatula here and I'm going to stir it up real good and blend that egg in with that mascarpone. Just get it blended up real good and it's coming together really good. It won't take very long. This is going to be so good. You know, that's one of the hardest things that it's been with Danny on this low carb diet is trying to f find different sides for him. I mean, there's all kinds of vegetables out there, but just coming up with something different every once in a while because we're not eating rice or pasta or potatoes and of course no bread, so. So I'm just gonna keep mixing this up. And um, if you want to, you can add just a couple of tablespoons of milk to the sauce to kind of thin it out just a little bit. I'm going to take about half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and that's what's left in this bowl. So I'll just put it all in there, half a cup. And then I'm just going to keep blending it up. Hey! Just keep mixing it until it's good and smooth, and I think my onions and garlic is done now. See, it's just kind of translucent, just kind of tender. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got two ounces of cheddar cheese and two ounces of mozzarella and I'm going to put my two ounces of cheddar cheese in here with my sauce. Stir it in real good. And a lot of um, of your older fashioned au gratin recipes are called for just a pinch of nutmeg in your sauce. Now I'm just going to layer all of my zucchini in my pan. Now if you want to, after you get your zucchini browned, and that's just all we're going to do, we're just going to cook it for about five minutes. 
you know, to help the, the baking process. Just brown them up a little bit. But I'm just going to layer mine in this pan. And this pan, I really like cooking in it because it'll go from the uh, stove top into the oven. But if you don't have something like that, after you get them browned real good, just layer them in the bottom of a, a baking dish to put in your oven here in about five minutes. The reason you want to go ahead and, and cook your zucchini a little bit is just, like I said, just to help it just a little bit, um, kind of brown it up a little bit. I'm going to put just about a teaspoon or more on top of salt on top. And since I already got garlic in there, I don't think I'll put any garlic powder. Put a little bit of pepper, about a teaspoon or so. We like our pepper. You could put you a little bit of onion powder, or something like that if you wanted to, just to your taste. Just kind of stir it around a little bit. We love zucchini. Now this zucchini here come from the store. I can't wait till this summer to have zucchini again out of the garden. So we're going to cook this about five minutes. And we'll be back to finish it up. It's going to be good. Okay, here it is after five minutes. It's still got a little bit of olive oil in it, but that's not going to hurt anything. So you can see how it's tender a little bit and kind of browned up a little bit. Okay, now that it's cooked for five minutes, we're going to turn it off. And we're going to start adding our sauce to it. I know this is going to be so good. I've always loved our rotten potatoes. So this is going to be a really good alternative. <clears throat> and I've never made it with, uh, with cream cheese or anything. So this is, you know, a whole different recipe for me. But I can tell you, I know it's it's going to be really good. And probably something that we'll, we'll eat quite a bit. And I can see you doing with the other vegetables, too. Not just zucchini or potatoes. I can see you doing it with... Um, Y'all know we've been eating fried radishes. You could do it with radishes. Um... Maybe some different root vegetables. You could do this with broccoli and cauliflower. So I just sprinkled the rest of my cheese, which is mostly mozzarella, on top. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more black pepper. My oven is at 400. We're going to stick our zucchini in there. And we're going to cook it for about 30 minutes till it's golden brown and bubbly. Here it is out of the oven, and it took exactly 30 minutes. And uh, it really worked out good because my meatloaf had about 30 minutes left to cook, too. So my meatloaf come out the same time. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's just going to be so good. I'm so excited. So we're going to plate up. Mr. Brown's Supper. Get it on the table for him because I know he's getting hungry. And we'll see. We'll let him taste it and see if he likes it. That looks so wonderful. 
The zucchini is tender. Everything, the cheeses are so ooey and gooey. And what do y'all think? I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be a good side dish. Let's get it on the table. See what Mr. Brown thinks about. So what do you think about the uh, au gratin zucchini as side dish? Instead of using potatoes. That bite was so hot, I already <laughs> got it down. <laughs> it was hot. Good though, isn't it? It is really good. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I think it's really good. And the keto meatloaf. Can you tell any difference? I mean, really, um, the only difference is that you use pork rinds ground up instead of crackers or oats. Everything else pretty much the same. It tastes. It tastes good. I mean, it's, it tastes like good old meatloaf to me. So, not too bad for a low-carb supper, huh? No. It's really good.